Hey everyone. Hey, I was hoping to show you a new set that I've been working on, a new tool. Um, these are add-ons for the existing cowboy hat sets. And what these are, doming pucks. So these allow you to get a nice center dome on your coins without the need of a dapping block. So there's no chance for anything to shift around. So the original sets, if you've you know got any of those sets, they all come with a center washer and a ball bearing. And they also come with a vinyl target. So the idea is you would take your steel dapping block, identify the appropriate size hole, and then put the vinyl sticker on there. And then that gives you a visual guide of where to place the center washer. So obviously you would need a steel dapping block for that. And there's always a chance of this bumping or moving on you, you know, when you go to move it over to the press foot or if the press isn't quite square, you might get a little bit of shifting. So to alleviate some of those issues, um, these new doming pucks, you know, have steel inserts. They match the size of the coins and then the openings on the center there are already sized to what you need for the ball bearing for that particular coin. So there's five sizes that are going to be available. Um, you know, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and half dollar to match all the cowboy hat sets that I've got. So let me show you how that, <clears throat> how that works. So this is the guy for quarter. You can see here it's sized to match the coin and the center washers that you've got from the sets fit right in there so it sandwiches in and holds the ball bearing right over the coin where you need it so what you end up doing is just taking the center washer let's see if I'll drop this place the coin into the center washer <clears throat> with the side out that you're planning on doming and then you take the uh, the doming puck just drop that on top so now you've got the coin centered right over that steel opening where you need it. Just drop the ball bearing in and then just go ahead and press. And I think it goes out saying, but the coin has been annealed. I know it is more the video process and recording here. So as you press that down, what you're doing is just pressing until you lose that gap. So you're pressing the ball bearing down into the coin, and then as soon as the press touches the top of that center washer, then you're done pressing. So we'll go ahead and back that off. So at that point you get this. So that ball bearing's you know, now pressed down in. So now we can take the center washer off. You've got a nice dome right in the center of the coin. So dead center, there's no, no detail loss other than the metal stretching itself because it doesn't have anything to press or bottom out in and then the next step is you just want to flatten out that brim so that's where the Delrin mini pucks come in handy um, I saw these sets there's basically there's just a magnet in one you put that on your press foot drop the coin on there and I like to use the one ton arbor because it really doesn't take much much force at all and you actually feel the coin just kind of pop into place so I'm just going to drop to the side here quick little press and just like that so now you've got a perfect dome centered. Um, now because of the crease that you get from that sharp edge, it's really nice because now you don't have to worry about re-annealing. Um, you can picture folding a piece of paper kind of loosely and then trying to fold it in the other direction, and you're going to get you're going to get more force there. But having a sharp edge, you're going to get a nice fold. You don't have to worry about going back to re-anneal or anything. So at this point, you just just like before. So then you take the cowboy hat puck and you just drop that guy on there. And then you take the press foot and you just put that over top. And then all you do is, I like to use the one ton arbor again because it really doesn't take a lot of force. And you're just pushing this down just until the coin just touches that base. So again, I'm just gonna jump over to the one ton arbor here. Doesn't take much at all. So at that point, pull that guy off, pull this out, and then you've got your cowboy hat. So I'll be sharing the link. It's going to be pre-ordered through Kickstarter if you're interested. Um, this is also a good time to wear all of the cowboy hat sets. So all of the sizes, the half dollar, the quarter, the dime, the penny, and the nickel, they're all going to be on sale through the Kickstarter. All of the sets are going to be discounted as part of this. So if you want to fund the project, um, now would be the time to do that. And then you could also pick up any other size cowboy hat sets that you might be interested in and get them at a discount. So anyway, if anyone has any questions at all about these, you know, please let me know. And I hope everyone's doing great.
thanks.